Hello, James from Elite. Welcome to James Clark's HQ, The Shed. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing today. Um, so my original idea was we've got the heat pump up and running now. It had a great winter. It was 400% efficiency. So really, really chuffed with that. It's come to the summer. Uh, we've got the PV going and I'm giving a lot back to the grid. Obviously being a tight Yorkshireman, I don't want to give back to the grid. Uh, and being a tight Yorkshireman, uh, do I want to pay for an extra battery yet? So before then, I had the idea of timing my hot water in the middle of the day so I know that either I'm getting it from excess PV or I'm getting it from a full up battery. Uh, that's worked really well over the last month or so and I've really had no electrical cost whatsoever, especially when it comes to the hot water as well. So I saw that on my Octopus app uh, and yeah, just, uh, yeah, basically it was great. And then... The next stage was obviously I was still giving back to the grid. What am I going to do? Uh, so I've got a lazy spa and I decided to, instead of heating the lazy spa through uh, the egg and the immersion heater on the egg, the, the electric element on the egg, uh, which costs a fortune and takes absolutely forever to get hot and doesn't really work, I thought I'd try the heat pump. Um, before that, I did have a combi boiler, boohoo, uh, and I just put hot water straight into the combi as, uh, from the combi as well, straight into there. That worked quite good, but carbon footprint was not very good. Um, so we are now going on to uh, heating the lazy spa with my heat pump. Originally, I was going to teach straight off the floor and return, uh, but uh, guys in the office and uh, staff were saying, well, then your heating water is going to go through your lazy spa. That's not very good. We had one of this, these spare in the stores, luckily, from uh, uh, an insole we didn't need. And I'm going to take it off. And this is a valent plate exchanger. What this uh, originally did, does is it separates the, uh, the outside heat pump to the inside heating. So the glycol was only for this part of the plate and the outside unit. The rest of the heating system was fresh water, so if you have a need to change radiators, you're absolutely fine. This is working great at the moment. Uh, so, the flow and return on this side is to my heat pump outside, uh, and therefore the kind of the heating system water still. And then this flow and return is going to the lazy spa, hydraulically separated, hydraulically separated from the plate heat exchanger. So I'm hoping instead of giving more excess uh, PV uh, and energy back to the grid, when I know it's going to be a sunny day, I'm going to just switch on my uh, lazy spa and get that nice and toasty and it's free. Um, I'm going to do a lot of measuring. I'm going to measure the starting temperature on the lazy spa outside. Um, I'm going to do this on a fixed flow on the, on the, from the heat pump. Uh, because we want it about 40 degrees on the on the lazy spa outside. There might be some uh, uh, distortion and some drop in temperature from the plate either side. So we might have to bump the heat pump up. Um, from that, uh, we're going to see how good it is. Uh, see what the draw of electricity is from the heat pump. Uh, we know that it's three kilowatts from the egg and does cost a fortune about a pound an hour to do one of them lazy spas and. Yeah, again, it's not very good. So let's see how the heat pump does. We've got a, a battery app. So that means we can show the load of the house and how the heat pump's running. Um, and yeah, see if it's just more efficient, basically. And it does the job better. Um, so yeah, this perfectly uh, works. Uh, hydraulically separates the system. A uh, couple of handles. Uh, and on my Nectar app, on my Dakin app, I can say my heating's off because it's summer anyways. Heating off, hot water back on, couple of handles, and it's going back to the house the way I want to run it uh, normally through the summer and just hot water only. So this is through the Nectar app on a fixed flow of 40 at the moment. Pump's running to the lazy spa and back, and uh, we'll get the heat pump firing up and, and see how we get on. Uh, yeah, start some measuring. This is a DIY job. This in, uh, uh, this is uh, a good job, don't get me wrong, and I'd like to see how it goes, uh, but this is for just uh, shits and giggles and basically see how it goes, see what we can uh, measure, and yeah, just a bit of fun, really. Um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're just sucking up the um, flow and return. So obviously get the other handle on, put the nice red hand uh, lever on there, uh, and this is gonna go through to the uh, garage, uh, shed, sorry, and the plate exchanger. So yeah, this is obviously not gonna go onto the 
lazy spar egg uh, and heat up. This is going to go to my plate exchanger inside. So we're just hooking this up now uh, and then we're going to just put them onto these flexi hoses so they can just easily go through to the shed. So yeah, no, no copper on this one uh, on the outside, just these flexible hoses. So yeah, see how we go on this one. Never know. All right, so I'm connecting uh, these unions to the bottom. We're getting rid of that plastic. That was um, trial number one. Not good. Uh, rubber hoses, in fact, we're going to change it for plastic because uh, they just can't handle the pressure. These flow and return from the heat pump are under pressure. This uh, secondary side going to the lazy spa uh, won't be under pressure um, as much, hardly no pressure whatsoever. Um, but yeah, these under pressure are just not coping with it. This was very DIY. Uh, we are doing a DIY project here. This isn't uh, 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 one of our normal installs, but this is me messing about at home, trying to get uh, free energy and cheaper energy to heat the Lisbeth. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of them, put plastic on. These are gonna go onto flexible hoses, uh, making these unions up and yeah, seeing where we go. Obviously I'm very organized and uh, get this wired in okay okay so I've got a Tesla smart probe and I'm gonna put it in the water I want to see what temperature it is so this is obviously starting temperature from the cold mains uh, also I just record, uh, record really how long this lazy spa gets up to temperature of about 37 38 degrees from a standing start uh, in relation to or, or, or against the egg and the immersion in the egg, the electric heater in the egg versus the heat pump. So let's put it in. I reckon it's going to be about 15 degrees today. Or not, it could be 20 degrees. exciting TV this it's not budging just like the air temperature give it a swirl it's reading 20 degrees so I want to get up to 7 17 18 degrees on top of that um, yeah see if we can do it see how long that takes okay A little bit of proof. The top ones are 20 degrees. The bottom ones on the uh, on a plate exchange inside. So we're at 20 degrees. Okay. So the heat pump started. We put it on a fixed flow, and yeah, up and running up to the plate. Uh, I'll show you what we're doing on the app uh, on the battery app. Currently, we're pulling close to a kilowatt. If we can go forward, can you see that? We can also see that the PV is generating 3.4 kilowatts. We're feeding nothing into the grid uh, and we're still giving uh, plenty into the battery as well. Really interesting. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I've got them smart uh, Tesco clamps on the floor of the heat pump to the plate and then going out of the plate, going into the lazy spa as well. This has just started, that plate's probably not even up to 40 degrees yet. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's going through it and if there's any uh, temperature drop throughout it. But yeah, this is really geeky, isn't it? And, uh, but yeah, love it. And uh, let's see how we uh, get on inside. Okay, so as you can see by the timer, half an hour's gone. That is the return of the lazy spa, 23, nearly 24 degrees. We sat at 20 degrees. I think I'm quite impressed with that because I've sat in the lazy spa with the egg doing the electric immersion heat element thing and it takes an absolute age, like a degree an hour. Um, so half an hour gone, four degrees up. There is a five degree delta T over this plate. So if I want it at 38 degrees 
you know, I want to be setting my flow of my heat pump to about 30, 30 42, 40, 43, 44 degrees. Um, but yeah, currently that's the flow of the heat pump. Obviously it's it's not at 43 degrees because it's pulled back and retained by the retain. It's only got a five degree delta T. So it'll never let it get itself get away um, away with itself, you know, flow wise. Um, so at the moment, it's at 31 degrees of flow from the heat pump. 24 going to retaining actually from the lazy spa. Retaining from the lazy spa. So the flow to the lazy spa will be about 27, 28 degrees. So yeah, impressed, impressed so far. Uh, and I think it'll only get better. Uh, and probably the first 10 minutes of that, I didn't have the lid on the, uh, the lazy spa. So yeah, really cool, really happy. See how we get on. So, little progress update. It's been an hour and a half, if you can see that. It's gone 27 minutes. And the retain's at 30 degrees. An hour and a half, it's gone up 10 degrees. And I've put this probe in the water uh, and it's confirmed that it's obviously slightly hot because it hot rises, uh, about a degree hotter. But yeah, normally it'd be about a degree or two an hour. It's gone up 10 degrees an hour. That is amazing. That is amazing. So uh, yeah, maybe the next time you see me, it'll be in there. Um, but yeah, really, really, really impressed. I didn't think it'll work this well, but yeah, really chuffed. Uh, okay, yeah, progress report over. Okay, so. Two hours has gone past. This is nicely up to 40 degrees. I had to put the heat pump on at uh, 45 degrees. And yeah, we're all done. It took two, two and a half hours maximum. Um, absolutely go smacked. Running free off the uh, solar panels. Uh, what's quite interesting is actually uh, the COP was 600% uh, was six because the incoming air going into the uh, evaporator was 20 degrees so yeah it's amazing it comes to show about scott probably not being the best medium to record heat pumps um, because if i left my heating on that month longer into the summer months i'm getting warmer air compared to the other person even though that person's paid for less and the return investment's better my scott looks better my efficiency looks better I'm paying more it's just because I've got better fuel for the summer months so I won't be looking at scops so much I'm looking at cop what is that efficiency at that time for that outdoor temperature so yeah plumbed up the uh, the lazy spa to the uh, the heat pump running free off the solar and the battery thanks for watching make sure you subscribe